we've got here are gloss medium. So um, we'll try them out and I'll show you. But like I've done on this piece of paper, you can actually see um, the different sort of matte medium. You're not going to see, but it's just a flat, non-gloss kind of white there. And then you've got like your crackle paste, which you can see um, little cracks in. So that's your crackle paint, which is a lot thinner, runnier. Then you've got your paste, which you put through stencils, or you can just slab on thicker. And it's got that um, thickness to it that you could like tip it upside, like whipped cream. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, and then, so that's that one. And then the texture paste sands up there, as you can see, the little grits in it. The gesso is just plain white. Um, the glazing medium, as you can see, it's got that glossiness to it. The snow text, snow text and texture paste sand are very similar. And then you've got the modeling paste, which is just a thick whipped cream consistency, like texture paste. But you don't use it. <laughs> um, these are heavy gel and matte medium. So um, you can use them again for... Um, I keep losing my... It's like a sealer. And again, we've got black gesso and we've got texture medium. So there's another medium. So like I said, there, there's texture medium, there's texture paste. There's a couple of different ones. So we'll try them all out. Okay, and then we've got some sprays coming up. Oh no, sorry. We've got the metallic, dazzling metallic elegant finish writers in gold. So this one you can like uh, write on, I think it says glass and plastic, you can add it on like paper, all sorts of stuff. And it comes in a variation of colours, glow in the dark, they've got all sorts. But I just got the white and the gold and I thought I could use that for a project. Um, and I got, oh no, I got silver too, which is here. So that's metallic it's called Dazzling Metallic Elegant Finish Writer. And you can see it just on the top there. So it's just a metallic writing pen thing. Liquid glass. So this is just like glossy accents. That's what it reminds me of. You can see like the dome on top there, on top of the lid. And then the sprays. The sprays are pretty awesome. Um, they have metallics and flat ones that don't have the shines in them. So this one is called Orange... So it's got, there's the orange colour. We've got the, this one's the shimmer. Shimmer, this is violet. So you can tell by the um, label, because it's got that shit, like that uh, metallicness to it. And that's the colour there. Um, we've got yellow, and again this is shimmer. So uh, Carbon black, and that's just a flat black. Uh, red, flat red. And these colours I will do some projects with. Um, they are so pigmented and they are so good to use. Like even when you add water to blend them, they still stay really pigmented. And there's a lot of great uses for them. And Andy Skinner, if you look him up, he does a lot of work with the deco art media range. Like the texture paste and stuff and these things. Um, so... This one's called Primary Yellow, so just bright yellow. And you can see how bright they are. They kind of remind me of um, Dilutions. And then this one is Yellow Green, and it's a beautiful green. Okay, so I'll just take them off the screen. Thank you, Helper. Okay, and then we've got some paint. Um, I've got the Wisteria and per Peacock Pearl. So as you can see, they're gorgeous colours. So you've got that gorgeous um, wisteria colour. So it's like a bluey purple. And the metallic... Ooh, ah! The metallic... Whoa, that was a noise. Uh, the metallic blue. It's a beautiful colour. Okay. So as you can see, all the colours... I might not go through them all, um, like colour-wise. I'll just show you the top so you can see. Um, hang on, they're not in frame. My mum's lovely hand there. So we've got um, OCD mum. Yeah, OCD mum. So as you can see, there's a number of colours that I've picked up um, because I want to try do some of um, mixed media, and I want to try do the drip arts and things. 
Oh, and I've also got those two that I showed you at the start. Okay, so that's those ones. So I want to do some, um, what is it called? Fluid art or something it's called. And you do like the runny paint with the resin. I want to try it. So I got some of the products. Pour art. Pouring medium I got um, from Deco Art. And these are the paints to go with it. So that's that. Okay, the next thing is probably some more paints. Yep. Okay, I'll start with these ones. Okay, we've got um, in the... Um, so those ones were all under the Deco Art, like Americana line. And then these ones are these premium type ones. So we've got Cobalt Teal Hue. Actually, I might just tip them out and then Mum can put them straight in the box. Oh, I just want to show you those sprays when you spray them out. Look at them. Look how gorgeous they turn out, those shimmers. So that's that purple I just showed you and the blue. Yeah. No, it's paint. As spray, so it's paint. Okay, you take that, Mum. Okay, so we've got Traditionals Deco Art um, in Quinidone Violet. So it's in that bright colour. We've got, again, in that range, the purple and a blue. So the purple is called Light Violet. And then this one is called Aquamarine. And we've got Carbon. Excuse me, Carbon Black. And then in all these ones, um, there's a Pale Gold, as you can see. So this one's Pale Gold. And then this one is Pinchunia. Oh, Primary Magenta. So you've got that gorgeous colour. So there's a, a number of them. This one is titanium white. So that's just a white. But then these are a bit hard to show. So you can see I've got a range of these in the premiums. So there's some of those ones. And then I've also got these ones. So I've just got my shimmery metallics. So my golds and silvers and stuff. But I didn't actually realise there were so many ranges under the paints, like Americana, there's Deco Art, there's Deco Art Media, Deco Media, and there's also those ones in Traditions. I also got some um, Metallic Luster, which is very similar to like a Rub and Buff type product, which you know I love my gold Rub and Buff. Um, this one's Cosmic Blue, as you can see. We've got Copper Kettle which is all the samples will be on top as you can see and this one is Fab Freesia and then these ones I got a number of those so we've got like the which one is this one? Polished Coral Champagne Ice so some really pretty colours um, Elegant Emerald Radiant Red um, and we've got Varnished Brass, which is like a gold, like an old gold. Um, and then we've got in here, oh no, and this one's Gold Rush. So it's like a dirty gold. And this one's called White Frost. So it's just like a white metallic. And then in here I've got one of those um, Snow Tech pens, but in like a writer, so I can write. I thought that'd be good for Christmas if I wanted to do like icicles or something like that. and everything. Okay, the next thing is we've got some paints. Um, again in the metallics. So I'll just show you them. This one's in the extreme sheen range. So it's like got that shine. Um, and then these, see these are Americana. See how there's like different bottles? There's the dazzling metallics. There's the extra sheen glitters um, but there's just I'll just move them over a bit so they're on camera but you can just see there's a ton of different metallics there's that gorgeous blue um, so they're like the different bottles so they're all under some of the ranges and then there's that traditional one I showed you last time so they're all the colors there and then there's these glitter paints so you've got like your crystal and your gold 
And then I've also got the Deco Art Little Paints under the media range. So we've got these little ones, um, Deco Art Fluid Acrylics. These are the ones Andy Skinner uses in his tutorials. So I'll just put them out so the video's a bit okay. shorter. So we, as you can see, I've got a little um, variation of colours so we can go through it and do some projects together. Okay. Next is, um, and this was a couple packages, I actually got this a little while ago and I've been meaning to film it. Okay, see this is the traditional bottle, so there's another form of deco art. So I'm going to figure out all the differences, like the premium paint and the normal paint. Okay, we've got um, gloss varnish, matte varnish. We have high gloss and satin varnish. So again, like like the name say, sort of be glossy, matte. So they're all like types of varnish. Um, these big bottles are for pouring. So I've got some pouring mediums, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, paint adhesion, so that's to adhere your paint. Uh, one step crackle. We have glazing medium, so we've got some different ones in there. Okay, so that's that. Uh, the next ones I actually got um, to do some projects around the house. Um, so this is the chalky deco art um, paint. So this is like a chalk paint. So you can see the blues. I got some variations of blues. I got a gorgeous like purpley blue in a shimmer. Another blue, so as you can see, the blues there. So you've got the three versions. And then you've also got a white chalk paint. Um, brush cleaner I got in a big bottle this time. Last time I got it in a little bottle and it didn't last very long. Um, I also got some of these little dabbers. So these are called... Um, Gloss enamels, and you get the three in it, three little dabbers, so they're wood with the little top. Um, we've got these fine tip applicators, so I'm going to put them on my glue, so that um, it's easy when I'm doing fine die cuts and things like that, and I'm not having trouble like putting too much glue on something that's like only needs a tiny bit. Um, we've got some more dabbers here. Um, brushes and then we've got some more brushes so they do do a lot of things like I said um, so I will just so that's all my package um, I'll have some videos coming up showing it so um, that's all and I also for the use that, that sat and watched the whole video I'm having a giveaway so if you um, want to enter I'm giving away a paper pad and some die cuts from our um, store one of our local stores here and I'm going to um, all you have to do is mention your favorite crafty brand and in um, and this is for in Australia so Australian people um, so, uh, that's all. So, um, I'll see you later.